Okay, and well, you know what else I'm rooting for? Sunshine. Yeah. We need it. And while we're doing it, I'm still rooting for the Texans. There, there you go. It's on its way back for the weekend, but we got to get through one more round of rain. First of all, tonight, cloudy skies are with us here in East Texas, and we're keeping an eye on the radar for some light rain that's beginning to move through. There are even some pockets of some moderate rain. You notice that southerly wind, those red arrows are certainly with us tomorrow. There'll be blue arrows, an indication that a north wind is on the way. Temperatures have actually risen in a couple of spots to the mid 60s, so we've achieved a new high temperature like in Tyler. Now that new high is up to 63. Here's live Doppler radar tonight. As you do notice some light showers that are passing through. We just had a nice little batch of moderate rainfall come through here in Smith County, which you will notice here toward the end of this sequence. And we have some steadier and heavier rain picking up from Palestine to Jacksonville. So along Highway 79 and along Highway 84, there's some heavier rainfall that's coming down. The good news, there's no lightning that's happening in any of this at this time. So that's a great sign. Had some heavier rain earlier in parts of Wood County, stretching up into Camp and Titus County. Nothing more than just a light shower or two that's passing through. And then down in Deep East Texas, you too are dealing with a couple of showers that are passing through at this point. Again, not Nothing really significant that is ongoing. The cold front is still out to the west. As I mentioned, it's over into the Texas panhandle for us at this point, and that will continue to move off to the east. Until that front can arrive, we'll expect some additional waves of rain, maybe an isolated thunderstorm or two that might try to form as we go into the overnight. Futurecast here is really not going to be impressed with a thunderstorm threat, not indicating a lot of moderate to heavier rain, but I think we could see a little bit that will pass through. This is 5 a.m. in the morning. A lot of us still with wet roadways. So if you have an early start tomorrow, it will be wet as we begin the day. There's 7 o'clock cold front coming right through Mineola near Corsicana, and there's going to be some rain associated with that too. But as we go throughout the morning, precipitation will start to move down to the southeast. It will gradually come to an end in deep east Texas. And look at that. Instead of us talking about more clouds tomorrow, those clouds will be decreasing and a return of sunshine. The cost means that we do get a north wind for tomorrow, bringing in some colder air. So temperatures on your Saturday actually dropping down into the lower and mid 50s. Sunday, more sun, but after a light frost and a freeze on Sunday morning, we'll have a nicer afternoon. I think the sun will do a big difference for us compared to earlier this week. There's your seven day forecast. We're on track for some great weather through the weekend and even into next week. One note though, look at Tuesday, 46, so much colder air arrives. This is a very strong blast of Arctic air that will impact a good part of the country. We'll get that glancing blow Monday into Tuesday before our next rain chance and deep east Texas. A couple of showers left over in the morning, but then that sun will return.